Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to talk about Dell PowerEdge R630 servers and we'll continue our series as a whole. This video is going to be focused on how to set the static IP address and the password. Let's get rolling. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R630 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually uh, show you through the uh, the steps on how to set your IP address and set the password for it. It's relatively simple, uh, but nonetheless, we want to, uh, to show you all the steps uh, start from finish. Let's get going. All right, we're gonna show you how to set the IP address on your Dell PowerEdge R630 server. You will need a NIC or a network card and an active network connection. And there's two different options for setting your IP address and we're gonna show you both options. Uh, the first one that we're gonna show you is uh, via DHCP and this is automatically gonna pull your IP address. And then the second option that we're gonna show you is the static IP, which you will have to set manually. All right, so let's start with the DHCP option. So what we're gonna need to do is to get into our lifecycle controller. And this will be um, you know, pretty simple when you are on your boot screen, you're just gonna click F10. And when you click F10, that's gonna take you into your lifecycle controller. It will take a little bit of time for it to, uh, to pull up. So you know, give it a minute. When you get in, you're gonna go to settings, which will be on the left side, and you're gonna click settings. After you click setting, it's gonna pop up with two options. You're gonna to wanna to click network settings. After you click network settings, you're gonna to need to select the network port that your Cat5 cable is plugged into. Uh, in this case, it's the uh, Broadcom Extreme for us. After that, we're gonna to go to the IP address source. Click DHCP. Once you do that, you're just gonna to go to finish. Click finish. And this is actually going to um, apply the updates. It will take a second for the updates to, uh, to go into effect and this will automatically set up the IP address which will give the server internet access. So this is the first way to, uh, to set your IP address uh, via DHCP. Now we will show you how to do it uh, via static IP. All right, we're gonna show you the second method via static IP. This is gonna be uh, actually pretty similar overall, but it's gonna be slightly different. As opposed to uh, going to F10 into the lifecycle controller like we did for the DHCP, we're gonna hit F2 on the system setup during post. This is gonna take us to a few different options. We're gonna to wanna to click on iDRAC settings. This will take us to another screen that'll have a whole bunch of options. Um, we're gonna to wanna to scroll all the way down to network click network, and then it's gonna give us uh, all the network settings, the common settings, the IPv4 settings. We're gonna to wanna to go down to the IPv4. Um, we're gonna to go to enable DHCP and actually change it to disabled. Once you do that, you can manually type in the uh, static IP address and the static gateway. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to put in 192.168.0.0.0. Five, and that'll be the uh, the static IP address. Now the static gateway will actually be uh, pretty similar, except for at the very end, instead of the uh, .205, it'll be a .1. So we're gonna uh, type in 192.168.0.1. And the static subnet mask is actually gonna stay the same at the default. You're just gonna wanna save your settings um, and reboot your server and then your IP address will be changed and saved to uh, 192.168.0.205. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by to learn how to uh, update the IP addresses for your Dell PowerEdge R630 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that's video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you guys are looking to uh, custom build any R630s or this is what you use in your data center, we sure love the opportunity to, uh, to win your business. Uh, let us know the configuration that uh, that you're using and we'd love to send you a quote uh, email us at sales at cloud that's sales at cloud thanks for stopping by and have a great day guys